Hi there and welcome to the Bambi Kyle Show again. Today on this episode we're going to be using Flash. It's a tutorial on the Bone Tool. I've been using the Bone Tool a lot recently and I've just I found it really hard to figure out how to use it from YouTube videos so I'm going to explain my way of using it which I find quite easy. Um, firstly the best thing to do, I'm, I'm going to show you a quick example so it's going to be like a rough copy We start by doing a couple of things just to kind of like make a robot. And then you could just make my name. For the arms and for the legs. Make that be a bit smaller. Make that be a bit bigger. Right. Now you've got all your parts. Oh, no. You don't have all your parts. Make that be a bit small. Oh, ah, just delete that. Ah, delete all the demo now. So if this is taking a while, but this is like one of the easiest ways to learn how to do it. Obviously you can make your character more detailed than this, this is just showing you quickly how to get it to work. So you've got, you've got all your parts. What you want to do to make it the easiest is to make each one of these a symbol. So make sure it's a movie clip here. Movie clip. In fact, you could probably just. Ah, fuck it, I. Sure, that's a work. If you alt click it, you can just duplicate it. So, that's a wee fast way of doing it. Right, now to use the actual bone tool. Um. It probably seems weird, but I find it easier to make a no split apart and then do the bone tool and then just move it into place. I'll show you for an example. Right. Best bit one there, and we'll just make that go into the head. Right there. Now this bone is now attached to the head, as I'll show you. You can move about. And I don't know if that's been enabled to rotate. That's right, anyway. I'll continue this now. In fact, I'm going to redo that. Make it a wee bit more in line. Right. Then you do that. Then you're connecting it all to each different symbol. See how that's kind of moving like that then? And then you move that up to here. There we go, we've got an arm. You can do the same with the head, so then you've got a wee head. Then you do that. But it's easier to do it all at the end, as I said. For Tom's sake, yeah. Oh, but the way I'm doing that, the easiest way to move them about is either to go like that, to go into this, but. I find it quite irritating, so I just move it with the arrow keys, and that makes it go faster and more precise. I think. 
Uh, back onto the bone tool now. Just get it from your main pointer onto that, and then onto the bottom of the leg. Then bring it back. And bring it that to there. Right, the thing about that is um, these ones here will move independently, but you can just move that from for each pose. You can just move that, which I'll show you later on. Right now we can move everything into place. Right, grab two arms, put it there. We'll arrange them and bring them to the front. And then we'll grab these two. Move that into place first. Then we'll grab these two. Move that into place. Right click. Arrange. And send to the back. So there we go, we've got our back arm. And our front arm. You can make them different colours so they stand out and stuff, but as this is just an example. Right, then you bring that up. That up to where you would like it. Oh, come down. As I said, that one moves independently, but it's easy to work with. A lot easier, if I'm honest. You could always lock it if you don't want the thing to move, but it's a different story at the moment. Then you bring that in. Bring that, that one to the, the... Send that one to the back. Send these two to the front. Oh, grab me another I wanted to do. Bring that over a bit. And bring that over a bit. And there we go. I said you can lock that. I will actually lock these in. All you would do is go up to here and unable that. And then you've got free moving limbs. The only thing about that is then that has trouble moving, but you can work with that easy. And I'll show you a little example. Um, the the bone tool is phenomenal. It's just, it just helps you so much in flash. What you could do is you would insert a pose and if you like frame 10, but go to your first one and make sure it's proper first. Then you go to frame 10 and go to the kind of middle ish. For each one. And then. Yeah, that was 10 frames, so. Then you just go to the next one and pour it in. And then bring that back. See how easy it is to do this instead of you would have to place every frame you would have to place where you wanted each and to go. The bone tool just revolutionizes that and makes it so much easier. As you can see Oh dare you play now. It's not finished yet, but you can see how that, how that works really good. And you can easily make that into your animation. See if this works this time. Copy pose and paste pose and voila! We have a running boxman. You can see how easy that was to make, and that you could easily replace all these with uh, body parts to make it like a real thing, and then you could add a an extra body part to make it even more realistic. Then you would just add a backtrack onto your uh, for like a track for my run on and stuff and then you can jump and fight uh, I'll show you an example of one of my running ones it's got a weird it's got a weird limp but I'll fix that another day but I think it works not too bad that's just using the bone tool that was my first attempt at using the bone tool 
We've got maybe a bit of since then. Oh, I wanted home. Ah, oh, no, that's just a wee fight that I did ages ago. Right, well, that's it for the demonstration. Um, I hope that helped, and subscribe and comment. Thanks.